Grab those holes for him, one after the other, so it, it can break into that central hole, and uh, if you're real lucky, it'll fall down. But um, uh, but it smashes up the material, and um, it gives more space for the next hole to fire. Uh, this is real serious because um, the, the the explosive is safe, right? Most of it you can beat on it with a small hammer; it's not going to go off. Okay, the, the stuff I'm getting donated is, is particularly safe, right? Okay, however, you stick one of these in it, and all of a sudden, this is dangerous. Your explosive's got a lot of energy. Now you've got something that's dangerous with a lot of energy. Sunday, October the 14th, uh, the first day for we're expecting to blast. We got dust. So the typical rocks look pretty small. So this should be blast number 16, the third blast for this weekend. The first blast left a one foot thick shelf of very hard rock. Second blast uh, whittled it down, but it's still there. This blast we've got uh, Something like 23 sticks of split powder poked down in about uh, 20 some odd holes with a foot of uh, dirt on top. We're ready. Four, three, two, one. Now let's watch the blast in slow motion. Note the pulley at the top of the tripod. You see it gets knocked loose and starts to fall into the hole. Now let's put the dirt back. We're running at one-tenth normal speed. All the Carroll Passage is all the same all the way to T-Junction. And when you get well, to T-Junction...
fine. Yeah, right back there. Was it a good pull?
Because you'll have to wash your bottom right. board when you go up. Right. Well, I can't. When they dropped right. me in, that last right there was kind of a. I had to get the board. Whenever I was sitting, I was sitting. I had a problem leaning into it too much and getting it back in. When I was sitting in, yeah. I didn't have that problem standing. No standing. Uh, say again. Oh, we need you to take the slack out of the blade. Pull up the slack on the belay rope. Pull up the slack on the belay rope. Wrap it around. Uh, it's it's if you come through that hole there, you'll be okay. Yes, sir. No more bird than where I just come out of. That was a bird. <laughs> now, it's been three or four days now. Yeah. Not, okay, not we have Greg Fry on the elevator. <laughs> so don't hurt him. <laughs> elevator up, slow. Elevator up. We've got a tight restriction here, three feet above the floor that he has to get through. So once you get him past about six feet, you can go a little faster. First six feet slow, then you can uh, hit the gas. You may have to wiggle a little to get through that hole. But... I'm ready. What is it, my hand? Wiggle away. Hey, Eddie. Okay, it's yeah, looking yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. He just cleared the ceiling of the cave. He just cleared the ceiling of the cave. Chris got it for you. One more left. Yeehaw! <laughs> Jihad! Yeah. You told me to put it in your cooler, your cooler is full. <laughs>